Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip video. Today I wanted to talk to you how to use a program in compatibility mode. Welcome back everybody. As you can see, we're at the computer now. So today, again, we're going to talk about how to use a program under a compatibility mode. So first off, we're going to want to find the AXE or the executable is what they call it. A lot of the times it's going to be under your C drive, which is the main hard drive, and then under the program files where it's located, where it has been installed. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just use a Google Chrome EXE. I'm going to open up File Explorer go into my C drive, open up the program files 86. This will, this is what typically what will house your 32 bit installers and even some 64 bit installers, but most of them will show up in here. So we'll double left click on that. We're gonna go ahead and find Google, double left click Google and double left click Chrome application. Right here you can see it's the EXE and usually that you'll, it'll signify that by saying application. As you can see it says application under the type You'll want to right click on it, come on down to properties, and then you'll want to click on the compatibility tab right here. In here, you're gonna have a few different options. The first one is gonna be the compatibility mode. First, you'll want to check this box that says run this program in compatibility mode, and then it's gonna give you a list of what operating system you want to use it in compatibility mode. A good one to start with is Windows 7. So click on Windows 7 and click Apply. What this will do is it will help allow the program to, want to run in a Windows 7 compatibility mode just in case it wasn't designed for Windows 10 or Windows 8 and they haven't released a new copy for it. Another thing that you can try is clicking this Run This Program as an Administrator is also a great way to help a program work as well. After you have the settings that you want selected, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click OK and that will apply those settings to the actual EXE. Now, if you're still having issues with the program not running, you may want to contact the manufacturer of that program, see if they have a version for Windows 10 and go from there. But if you like the video, if you love what you see, you love learning, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. We got a great wall of information. If you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.